Hello Adobe Presenter users. If you've been creating your e-learning courses with Adobe Presenter and want to take them to the next level with Adobe Captivate, let me show you a quick way to get started with it using the same PPT slides that you've created for your Presenter course and convert it to an interactive e-learning course using Captivate. Here I have a PowerPoint slide uh, where I have added a bunch of questions at the end of this presentation using the quiz functionality in Adobe Presenter. Let me show you how you can import the PowerPoint slides in Captivate and then add quiz questions natively inside Captivate. Uh, let's close this and go to Captivate. So here on the welcome screen, I will go and select from PowerPoint and click create. Then select the PPT slide and click open. After that, you will get this dialogue where you have a bunch of options, whether you want the slides to move automatically or you want them to move on a mouse click and whether you want to include or exclude any of these slides from the Captivate project. Uh, also, if you have added a lot of animations and a lot of triggers and all, you can select the high fidelity option so that all those animations are brought in correctly. So I have not used any animations here, so I'll just go with uh, this option unchecked and I'll click OK. This will start adding the slides to Captivate project. Once the slides are added, you will see them in the Captivate project. On top of these slides, you can add native objects in Captivate. So if you want to add a button here, you can easily do that by using either the shapes or you can go to the assets panel and bring in ready to use buttons in your project. So I'll just go to buttons here and I can select one of the buttons from these pre-made buttons and click insert. Then resize and reposition it on the stage. You can also add different types of media here, which includes images, audio, video, animations, and character images. Apart from that, you can add quiz questions. So let's go to the last slide here and then go to slides and select question slide. Here, we need one multiple choice question and two true false questions. So I'll just add those numbers here and click OK. This will add the pre-built question slides on my screen. I can then reposition them based on the order in which I want these questions to appear and then populate it with the text that I have. I have the question text in a word file, so I can just copy the question stem and paste it in the placeholder. Then to select the correct option, just click on that radio button and that answer is selected. Then I can go to the next question, again copy the question stem and paste it in the placeholder. Here to increase the number of answer options, I can go to the quiz inspector and increase it. For this question, I need three answer options and populate these answer options. Similarly, for the third question, I can go and change the question stem. And that's how I was able to add question slides to my Captivate project. Now let's preview it. We'll go to preview HTML5 in browser. Then click the play button and it will start playing the presentation. I can click the start button and I can keep moving through these slides using the progress bar. So I'll keep going through these slides and as soon as I reach the question slide, I can respond to these questions. The correct answer for this is false. I'll click submit and it shows me the correct response. This color scheme and style you can easily change based on your requirement. And once you have answered these questions, you will be taken to the automatically added quiz results slide. So this is how you can convert your PowerPoint presentation into e-learning. There's one more thing we need to do here so that it talks to the learning management system correctly. For that, we will go to edit and select preferences. Then go to quiz preferences and here select enable reporting for this project. Here you can select your required LMS. I'll just select other standard LMSs here. You can select the standard that you wish to use. I'll use COM2004. You can add other configurations over here for this COM package and the options for completion criteria and success criteria. I'll just go ahead and click OK here with the default properties and then click publish, publish to computer.
Here, it will allow you to have a zipped folder in an HTML5 format. If you wish your content to be scalable based on the device width and height, you can select this option and click publish. And your course package is ready in no time. Then you can take that zipped folder and upload it to your learning management system. Also, if you uh, don't wish to use a PowerPoint presentation and convert it into uh, an e-learning course, you can also start from scratch. And let me show you that method. I'll just close this uh, project here and create a blank project. Then I can either start from a blank slate and create my uh, slides with the help of these uh, different elements uh, which are listed in the toolbar on the top. Or what I can do is I can use the quick start projects. To access those quick start projects, you can go to assets and then go to projects. Here you will find hundreds of different pre-built slides which you can use for building your courses. Or you can toggle to the projects mode and it will show you complete projects with 40 to 50 slides related to each theme. Here let's just go and double click one of these projects and find slides related to that theme. From this you can select which slides you want to use. So I will just select this one, this one and uh, let's have a tabbed interaction screen so that we can add some tabbed uh, information and then let's add a final slide also over here and we can use this one for that so here when i click insert four slides these slides will be downloaded from the asset store and added to your current project these are fully functional slides and you don't need to go and configure any interaction here including the tabbed interaction let's go and review this and then I'll show you how the completed version looks like when you replace the content in these templates. So I'll go and click play here and here you can see this slide looks nice. I click begin and it shows me the next slide, this slide and this tabbed interaction is also fully functional. To replace the content here all you have to do is double click uh, the text area and replace the text. Uh, also for buttons if you wish to change the action of where it uh, goes from here you can go and set the action over here. There's a long list of different things you can do. You can explore and use whichever action you like and for the tabbed interaction also all you need to do is change the text in these areas and here's how the course will look after you replace the content and the images in the same template I've also added some question slides and you can see how beautiful it looks out of the box using the quick start projects in Captivate so if you've been using Adobe Presenter for a long time and need to take your e-learning content to the next level, it's time to use Adobe Captivate. Thank you for watching this video.